That's right. And we briefly spoke with John Arnold, who said he was very surprised by the amount of folks who came out and showed their support. He says without them, he's not sure how this situation would have been handled. Small in number, but grand in scope. This vet is not a threat. This vet is not a threat. This afternoon, dozens gathered in support of this man. I was amazed. <laughs> Thankful and amazed. In September, John Arnold had a stroke, and an assessment through the VA resulted in a determination that Arnold could not manage his affairs, an assessment in direct violation with the Brady Handgun Violence Prevention Act, saying he could not own, buy, or sell any firearms. People let the small stuff go by without fighting it. The other stuff that you don't see gets bigger and bigger and more dangerous. The community heard about Arnold's situation and stepped in to help. Everyone from locals find it unbelievable that they would try to come to North Idaho and disarm a veteran. To legislators, we shouldn't be scaring veterans, we should be serving veterans. Absolutely. And even the sheriff. Remember when I took my oath to uphold the Constitution, the state of Idaho, and, the, and also the rules and the laws of the state of Idaho. And I'm standing with you this morning uh, to do that and to follow through with my commitment. All lending support to a veteran to keep his most basic of rights. It amazed me when all these people showed up. It really did. And I'm real thankful. Now Arnold will go through an appeals process against that VA assessment, an assessment he feels is a clerical error. And of course, we will continue to update you on Arnold's story as new details become available. Reporting, I'm Victor Correa, Fox First at 10.